Adjust my pole too. August 1st. Here we go. Here we go. Just left the trailhead. Jacob and Don dropped us off. Took us three hours to get here. And uh, here we go. Only have 100 miles to go. <laughs> well, yeah, 100, 100.2 miles to go. It's nice and cool. I'm excited. This is my second time on this section. So I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, it should be a good trip. Ben and I have been uh, strolling along through the timber. We are 3.43 miles into our trip. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Came across this beautiful little meadow. I'm trying to learn how to have some restraint on my panning. So it doesn't make everybody sick when they watch one of our videos. But this is our first morning. We feel good. Ben's a little tired because he didn't get much sleep last night. He got off work at 11, 11.30 and <laughs> picked me up at a quarter to five. So we're having a good time. It is 10.06. And we're just going to keep walking. Keep cruising. Little trail update, we did uh, a little over five miles so far. We stopped at this beautiful little creek. Having a little apple break. It's a great day. What do you got to say, Ben? We only have 95% more of enjoyment to go. <laughs> 95%. So 95 more miles and we can call this good. Yeah, we can say we had fun. Right on. Okay, more to come. We're a little over nine miles in. Just got a bunch of water. It's a little after one o'clock. We're going to go to about 1.30, take a lunch break, rest for a little bit. And our next water is in about six and a half miles. That'll put us a little over 15 miles for the day. But this is really cool. I just thought I would show this. Saw a big bear in here last year, exact same time. In fact, right here, saw a great big bear running. I startled it and it took off running. But here's what our trail looks like. Here's my trail partner. We're just grinding away, having a good time. Feels good, over nine miles. 9.48, it's hard to believe. We just finished up our lunch, took our shoes and socks off, stretched our legs out. And last year, I never got to see this because it was all socked in and pouring down rain. But right in front of us, Mount Adams. Very cool. Whole lot of rock showing. That's amazing. I thought that mountain had a lot more snow than that. I would imagine certain sides of it do, but wow. I don't know how well it shows up on the camera, but it's pretty amazing. The view we got here and we and we're gonna get better views we're working towards it so we're just trucking along 10.3 miles for the day we're just gonna keep on hiking don't know how many miles we're gonna do until we get tired hopefully this shows up good the wildflowers are just crazy everywhere in bloom Red, white, purple, kind of bluish, yellow. yellow. Gosh, just amazing. I mean, everywhere you look, beautiful red ones down there. I don't know how well it shows up, but it's, it's just beautiful in person. Just that right elevation, right time of year. Need to get a shot of that. Look at Adams. I don't know how well it shows up, but wow. we are close. 
and that meadow. What do you think of that meadow, Ben? Wow, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I mean, there's so much purple there, you, you have to look hard. Oh my gosh. Too. The name, but I'm gonna call them purple daisies. They are beautiful. And that meadow, just can't get enough of that in the mountain. Boy, we this you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the Wonderland Trail when we hit the bloom on there. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. 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 Wildflowers everywhere. Doesn't get any better. Check this out. Came around the corner. We've been skirting Adams for quite some time, but this is pretty unobstructed. Gosh, what a view. I mean, we we're right on top of this thing. And then, look at that. There's Rainier. So far today, we've seen Mount Hood, Mount Adams, Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier. If it's super clear on Old Snowy, we might get a shot of uh, Mount Baker too. That would be pretty cool. So we are 15.33 miles in for the day. It is 448. Ben's right behind me. We're going to get some water. There's a pond and Riley Creek down here. That'll put us a little over 15 and a half miles. We're gonna take a break. So I turned the camera off. I had some hikers right back there. I came around the corner and they're like, who are you talking to? <laughs> Just talking to my camera. So anyway, like I said, we're a little over 15 and a half miles. It's almost five o'clock. We're gonna take a break, get some water, hydrate some dinner, and uh, figure out how much more we're gonna hike today. Gotta find a decent campsite, so we'll have to look at the maps and figure that out. More later. Not sure how well it's gonna show up. I mean, I can see it shows up well, but the closeness, we're right on top of this. We've been here in the mountain calving. Sounds like thunder. Not right at the moment, just earlier. We are at 17.67 miles. Eight hours, 11 minutes, 26 seconds hiking. It is 6.30. And we feel like we could go another 20 miles. <laughs> that's not, it's not entirely true. We're feeling tired, but we're two old guys hiking. We should feel tired. Almost 18 miles. So, plenty of water on this side of the mountain. More when we get to camp. Good morning. This is one of the most amazing views I've ever seen. 556, August 2nd. I gotta show you the foothills around Mount Rainier and Mount Rainier. Wow, I hope this shows up even close to what I'm seeing in person. Absolutely amazing. Never seen a view like that. I got up a little bit ago, already had my breakfast. So I have Mount Rainier behind me, directly in front of me. We woke up to Mount Adams and we are literally at the base of it. Could, couldn't ask for a better campsite. Beautiful, beautiful weather. There's not a cloud in the sky. And to recap quickly yesterday, we did we started the trail about 8.30 a.m. and we did 18.43 miles. So it was a pretty good day. Um, yeah, we're having a great time. We're 50 minutes into our hike and we are 1.83 miles. Look at this. We've had just the most amazing views yesterday evening and today. So our goal today is I'm gonna push Ben to uh, do a marathon, 26 miles. Nah, just kidding. Ben says he can't do 20 miles, so we're gonna stop at 19.999. When you said marathon, I thought you were gonna make me go 26 miles. 
Oh, Ben wants, I just heard Ben wants to do 26 miles. I mean, the way this ground is, it's it's damn near a flat trail. It really is. It really is. Six point seven nine miles in this morning. It is ten thirty seven. Never ceases to amaze me these bridges out in the middle of nowhere. How cool is that? Had to be brought in by a helicopter. But I'm gonna turn the camera off. We're gonna get some water. Trail update. Been doing forest walking most of the day. We got 14.34 miles in and it's three o'clock. Feeling good. Haven't turned the camera on much because there hasn't been much to see after we left Mount Adams this morning. Uh, super mosquito-y right here though. We're just going by a bunch of stagnant lakes. But we're having a good time, feeling strong. Trail's been super easy. We've just been taking our time, so I think we're gonna end the day with right around 18 and a half mile day, something like that. So if there's anything exciting up ahead, turn the camera back on and share. Say good morning, Ben. Good morning, great day ahead. Great day ahead. So yesterday we entered the Goat Rocks Wilderness, still a lot of timber walking. Stayed in a camp last night. There must was about 10 people. Went over to a area where they weren't having a campfire, where two through hikers were. And uh guy played a, what was that, a ukulele? No yeah, some kind of small guitar. Anyway, sang a song and it was, it was pretty enjoyable. So there's nothing to show right now. I'll show you where we're walking. This is what we're seeing. And I think we're gonna see this a lot today. But eventually, by this evening, we're gonna break into the opening again. Yeah, we should, we're gonna go 18.8, 18.9 miles to this epic campsite that overlooks, I think Mount Rainier. Anyway, more later. Ten o'clock. We're 10 miles in, it's not too bad. No, I'm sorry, 10.30, 10.30, 10 miles in. We've got an early start. It's been a great day. Had some forest walking and now we're entering into the Goat Rocks. We actually entered into the Goat Rocks Wilderness a while back, but it was all forest. Now we're getting into the open views of the Goat Rocks. So I'm gonna have some great footage later today. Entering the Goat Rocks Did with we? my hiking partner, Ben. Oh yeah. This is your first uh, view of it, right? I've never been in the Goat Rocks. Lava shot out of the mountain and cooled. Look at this, absolutely incredible. I just came over that pass up there, hot-footed it up here, a bunch of switchbacks. There's another trail, I think you can summit those high peaks. Absolutely amazing. So this is the first of three passes. Sispas Pass, elevation 6473. I'm at 11.22 miles. And it's 11.43. Got lunch hydrating in the back. And, oh man, it's, it's an amazing day. Yep, couldn't be happier I'm here. I'm gonna go up here while well, I'll show you. See that waterfall? The trail goes right through it. That is the headwaters to the Cispus River. That's where I'm gonna get water. So the actual Cispus River that flows, that's where it started. Look at this, absolutely amazing. Trail's gonna switch back all the way down there, then all the way around. 